Hello, I'm Mr. Steinauer, and this is Science. Today we're going to be talking more about energy. Last week we introduced eight types of energy. Today we're going to talk about how energy is transferred, how energy is stored, and how energy can be transformed. All you're going to need today is, if you've still got it, your diagram from last week, your energy flower diagram. If you don't have that, that's all right. Regardless, you're also going to need a piece of paper or something to write on and something to write with. That's going to help you keep track of what we're talking about today. Finally, you're going to need some energy around you. Luckily for you, energy is all around us. So let's learn about how energy gets transferred, how energy gets stored, and how energy can be transformed. I'm going to use this board behind me to display some of the things that we're going to talk about today. In previous lessons, we've been very hands-on. We've been building and we've been creating and we've been modeling different principles and different ideas in science that we discuss. Today, I just want us to be able to have a concept or an understanding of energy and how it moves around. First things first, Energy never is destroyed. It only moves to a different location or into a different form. Energy is never, ever, ever destroyed. You can never get rid of energy. All it does is change form. But what is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. That can be any kind of work. That can be heating something up. That can be moving something. That can be digesting food. That can be absorbing water. There are a lot of different ways to describe work when we're talking about science. And anything you need to do work is energy. Now, energy comes in different forms, and we discussed this last class. We discussed the eight types of energy. There's potential and kinetic, gravitational, chemical, sonic or sound energy, thermal, which is heat energy, electromagnetic, which describes a whole range of different kinds of energy from electrical energy to magnetic energy to the visible light spectrum. The final energy form is nuclear. Of course, when we talk about nuclear, we're not just talking about nuclear power plants or nuclear bombs. We're talking about the energy inside of the nucleus of everything. We are all made up of atoms, which have a nucleus inside. So when we talk about nuclear energy, we're talking about the energy of atoms and molecules, the smallest things that make us up. Energy transfer is when energy moves between two objects. In energy transfer, it stays the same kind of energy. So for example, potential and kinetic energy. When you're on a swing set, you transfer your kinetic energy, the energy of motion, to potential energy, energy based on your position, and then transfer that back into kinetic energy. It stays in the same type of energy. Similarly, when sound bounces off of an object, say you hear an echo, that remains as sonic energy, but it might get transferred from someone's voice off of the wall into someone else's ear. In fact, anytime we hear something, that's a transfer or a movement of sonic or sound energy. Whenever something heats us up, that is thermal energy being transferred. We go out into the sun and the thermal energy from the sun warms up our face. Or we go inside on a cold day and the warmth inside of our home warms us up as well. That heat energy gets transferred to our body. You may notice too when you do laundry and your clothes come out of the dryer and they're nice and warm, if you put those clothes on right away, that thermal or heat energy is going to transfer into your body, warming you up. So transfer is when the energy stays as the same type, but moves from one thing to another. Now, as we said earlier, energy does not get destroyed. It simply moves around. It doesn't always stay as the same kind of energy, but when it does stay in the same kind of energy, whether it's chemical, gravitational, thermal, or sonic, or otherwise, if the energy stays the same type, then that is a transfer of energy. What's an example of an energy transfer? Take a moment and think, what is an example of energy staying in the same type of energy but moving from one object to another?
Maybe you thought of an example that we named earlier. Maybe you thought about how thermal energy moves from a warm object to warm up another object, or how sound energy travels from a source of sound into someone's ear or into a space. Maybe you thought of another example. Maybe you thought of potential and kinetic energy working together. Maybe you even thought of a way gravitational energy gets transferred to another object. Think about things falling out of a tree. Gravitational energy pulls that fruit down and that fruit might knock into another fruit and that gravitational energy would then pull them both down. That's a transfer of gravitational energy. Now this is an example of energy transfer that you could see outside. You see all of these electrical uh, wires here, they're all carrying electromagnetic energy, and that energy is getting transferred from wire to wire, going into a generator and out another way, or getting carried all the way down a street and then also being split up between the houses in that street. It stays as electromagnetic energy, it stays as electrical energy, and it's transferred or moved to different areas. Energy can also be stored. Energy that is stored is saved somewhere for future use. Just like we sometimes save some food for later, or we save some water for when we're going to be thirsty, energy can also get stored. Now when energy is stored, it stays in one form. It doesn't change forms. Again, energy can never be destroyed, it only moves around, but energy can be captured and kept. Some examples of stored energy are a spring storing uh, potential and kinetic energy, body fat, our bodies will save chemical energy for us to break down into energy later for our bodies. And then another example of chemical energy is gasoline, which is stored for use for in our vehicles, whether it's a car or a lawnmower uh, or a motorcycle or even a school bus. All of those vehicles that I just named all need gasoline, which they convert from chemical energy into a mechanical energy, but when it's just stored like this, it's stored energy. Finally, energy transformation. Now, energy transformation is when energy moves from one form to another. So it will go from object to object, but the important part of energy transformation is that the energy itself changes type. So in an energy transfer, it moves from two different objects but stays the same energy type. In energy transformation, it changes the type of energy it is. So if you see that energy moves from one object to another, but it changes type, you know that it's transformed. So some examples of ways that we can transform energy. You can use the food that you ate, the chemical energy you gained, to then get mechanical energy, to move your body, to have sonic energy, to talk. We even use chemical energy all the time to give us thermal energy. We are warm-blooded animals, so we have our own thermal heat that comes from within. That we only get because we've eaten something earlier in the day, because we've had chemical energy stored up, stored in our body fat, stored in our muscles, stored in the food that we break down for energy every day. So anytime energy transforms type, that is energy transformation. What is an example of energy transformation, of energy changing from one kind to another? Another kind of energy transformation you might think about is if we go back to our gasoline example, that chemical energy gets used and burned up for, to produce mechanical energy, energy of movement for the car, but it also produces thermal energy or heat energy. You'll also notice that when you start up a car, you get some sonic energy too. All of that happens because there's chemical energy stored in the gasoline that the car is going to use for fuel and chemical energy stored in the battery of the car. Those two forms of chemical energy provide electromagnetic energy, making your car radio work and making your car turn on, and it also produces mechanical energy when we move our vehicle. And again, there's of course that sonic energy. Right? You can hear a car driving down the street, and on a really cold day, you can even see heat coming out of the engine or even through the exhaust. That's thermal energy. Now it's your turn. Find an example of energy transfer 
stored energy, and energy transformation in your home and share what you find. As always, it's been my pleasure having you in class today. My name is Mr. Steinauer, and I'll see you next week.